Part two, chapter twenty of Short History of the Christian Church by John Fletcher Hurst. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter twenty Monasteries as Centres of Intellectual Life. European learning had a safe refuge during the Middle Ages in the monasteries of the Latin Church. Some of the orders paid special attention to one science and others to another, while still others occupied their whole time in ascetic discipline and works of charity. The monks of Monte Cassino in southern Italy were distinguished above all others in Europe for their scholarly taste. They possessed a very valuable library and utilized it in the production of works which commanded the respect of learned circles throughout europe but the popes never looked upon the monks of monte cassino with favor the great monastery was a very hotbed of liberal thought from that place proceeded many an appeal in favor of greater intelligence less superstition purer morals and papal reform the appeals were fortified with a powerful array of thorough scholarship the reputation of this famous monastery for liberal ideas was never lost the monks continued from generation to generation in the same path of independent thought it is believed that their attitude even in these later times has contributed largely towards the growth of those aspirations which have resulted in the abolition of the temporal power of the pope and the unity of italy with rome as the capital the most frequent employment of the monks was the copying of the patristic literature this class of works was very large and the monks were so skilled in the use of the pen that their achievements in this department are still a bibliographical wonder they wrote on parchment and were acquainted with all the arts necessary for permanent transcription they knew how to make ink from vegetable materials which remains firm to this day they prepared the skins for writing and knew all the details of enduring and artistic binding they were capable of exquisite illuminating in the production of doctrinal works they were at their best many of the illustrations in purple silver and gold are still masterpieces of delicacy and finish End of chapter 20